And again, when we talk about innovation, it's not an anagram of technology. Technology isn't the answer in itself. this year, he put it absolutely brilliant in my mind, he said, um, well look, just because you buy a treadmill, that doesn't get you fit, it's actually how you use it. And it's exactly the same thing in relation to technology, and that analogy really rings true with me. I mean, I mean technology is important, I think will become ever more important, I, I, it's clearly when you've got, um, particularly on the sort of high volume process type of legal work, um, that's where um, I think technology can help. Um, it, you know, at Nestle we, we have a, um, we've um, recently developed a, um, an app that people can use on their iPhones, giving just simple legal advice, but it's got a lot of good kind of write-ups from... Agitation that I might present in terms of the tech conversation is that um, sometimes I hear that it will be the solution to everything. It won't be. Um, it will find its place. Um, I think that it will definitely have an impact in terms of the people that join into the profession, the skill sets that junior lawyers will need to um, be able to display will change um, and um, you link in again to processes, there will need to be a higher reliance on streamlining and processing. I think um, one of the problems with technological solutions in a lot of areas um, cost management and others is that they've typically been um, targeted at very large organisations or organisations where there's a very large flow of either invoices or contracts or something um, and the value has been greater in those sorts of organisations, so something like BT for example. I think what is starting to happen and will happen very rapidly over the next two to three years is those solutions will become more useful in smaller organisations and smaller teams and I think that could be quite